Hello everyone, I'm Ming Hao. I'm here to present our papers on PDA acquiring efficient hard label at the attack. This work is done jointly with Sam Richard, Patrick, Pinyu, and Chori. This paper is about generating adversarial examples, so let's first take a look at what are the adversarial examples. They are examples that look identical to the original one, however, cause the models such as deep neural networks to make a mistake. An image of bagel can be misclassified as a piano by adding a very small palpation. Let's formally define the problem first. With a k-way classifier f in our original example x0, we want to find an example that is very close to x0, but the model will generate a different label. There are different settings for generating adversarial examples depending on the accessibility of the victim model. In white box setting, the attacker has full access to the model and can backpropagate to achieve the gradient of the input. And then new screen is sent to solve the problem. However, a more practical setting is a hard label black box setting. When well, the model is unknown and the attacker can only query the prediction label instead. Chen et al. proposes OBD attack in a previous paper. That is a boundary reformulation method to turn the hard label problem into an optimization problem. Instead of directly searching for the perturbation, it constructs a mapping function between a searching direction theta and its corresponding distance to the boundary from the original example g theta. By minimizing g theta, we can find the shortest distance from the original point to the distribution boundary, thus finding the optimal of several examples. However, in every iteration of estimating the gradient of theta, Chen et al.'s method requires a lot of queries in order to get an accurate estimation of g theta and g theta plus beta u, which is done by binary search and fine grained search. Can we do it better to make it more query efficient? Inspired by the fast gradient sign method FGSM and PGD attack, we find that the sign of the gradient is already powerful enough to generate such an example. However, it will be meaningless if we first estimate the gradient in OPD attack and then take the sign. Hence, we propose a single query oracle to estimate the gradient sign by only one query. The intuition is shown in the figure. Given last iteration's direction theta and uh, Distance g theta, we draw an arc centered at the original example x0 with the radiance g theta. So the new direction would be theta plus epsilon u. The, if the end of the arc is out of the boundary, then we would say this new direction is better than the theta since we have a smaller function value. So the gradient sign in this direction should be positive. Similarly, if it is inside the boundary, then the gradient sign in this direction should be negative. Therefore, by only one query, we can determine the gradient sign in a direction. Hence, we can replace a gradient estimation with a new estimator based on the sign of the directional derivative leading to a sign OBD attack. We have concatenated experiments on different data sets and find our method new significantly less queries than other methods. The graphs show Median distortion as pro attack progresses, the distortion achieved by some OPD is much less than other attacks in a given number of queries. We are about 5 to 10 times faster than exceeding state of art high level attacks like OPD attack and boundary attack. To be specific for ImgeNet dataset, some OPD achieves a median distortion of 2.9 about. 30,000 queries, whereas other attacks requires much more than 160,000 queries to achieve the distortion of 4.0. And we could also generate high quality adversarial examples using around 3,000 queries as shown in the figure. By just around 3,000 queries, we can generate a car image that is very close to the original one, but the model thought it is a cat instead. So in conclusion, we propose sign OP a state of art query efficient black box attack to generate adversary example.